If you're visiting Prague and looking for a perfect day trip from the city, you won't have to look much further than Chesky Krumlov. This beautifully medieval town is located in the South Bohemia region of the Czech Republic, a little over two hours south of Prague. The entire town is considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The town was mostly left alone during World War II, so the most historic aspects are incredibly well preserved. The narrow cobblestone streets all lead to the Vltava River, which is actually the same river that runs through Prague. The river walk in Chesky Krumlov is full of traditional restaurants and has some of the best views of the castle. The town is quite small, and it's very easy to walk through in just a few hours. On the other side of the river, we had lunch at an awesome tavern called Mestal. In a very cozy setting, we learned about the region's most famous beer, Budvar Budweiser. And yes, in case you're wondering, this is the original Budweiser. And to this day, there's still a dispute about whether Anheuser-Busch should have been allowed to use the name. Cheers. Well, it may be a losing battle for Budvar over Anheuser-Busch, it was still fun to taste an extremely influential brew. And yes, it is a million times better than the American Budweiser. Not even close. After a hearty lunch, we walked back through the town and towards the castle. This castle, in my opinion, is the main event. Once a royal residence of the Vykovchiki family, which was a branch of the powerful Bohemian family known as the Rosenbergs. This building is full of amazing architecture and fascinating century-old relics. The first and perhaps most startling feature of the castle is four live brown bears in the moat below the castle bridge. The Vitkovskis were absolutely obsessed with bears. They were featured on the family coat of arms as a symbol of strength. It was admittedly a little sad to see bears cooped up like that. I'm not a huge fan of zoos. However, I can say that it was the closest I've ever been to a brown bear. It was a really interesting connection to the castle's history. The castle tour unfortunately didn't allow any photos or videos, but it was a fantastic experience that I highly recommend. You get to see almost every room of the castle, and it's fascinating how many relics and artifacts are still there from the 16th and 17th century. If you're not a history buff, you can still walk up to the castle balcony for free, and absolutely should. You get to walk through a beautiful courtyard on the way to what is hands down the best view of Chesky Krumlov. The castle towers over the town, and the balcony view allows you to see not only the town itself, but the river and the surrounding hills as well. The bird's eye view that the balcony provides is the best display of how well preserved the town is, a true European masterpiece.
Even though we had to battle a little rain throughout the day, we absolutely loved our time in Chesky Krumlov. The big cities in Europe are so much fun, but we also recommend making some day trips here and there to some of these towns. It is a feature of Europe that is hard to find anywhere else in the entire world. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like or comment, and subscribing to our channel. We spent all of 2022 hopping around Europe, and have so much to share from the experience. Also consider subscribing to our free newsletter on Substack, where we provide more details on our travels. 2023 will feature some brand new countries and locations, so be sure to get in now.